for printing a proposal, a presentation, or something with lots of photos or imagery. Swap out the ordinary paper for a heavier, smoother sheet from our Paper for Color line with the green paper frame. Not all paper is the same. Quality paper runs smoothly and prints better looking results. Results that other people will really notice. New Fun Light Transfer Paper is easy to use and I'm going to show you how. To start, preheat your press to 375 degrees or your iron to the cotton or linen setting. Choose your desired image and print your design to be transferred, remembering to mirror or flip your image before printing. Load your transfer sheets into the printer so the image is printed on the unlined, non-glossy side. Now that your design is printed, use a scissors to trim the image on the transfer sheet to remove any excess and unwanted area. I suggest rounding those sharp edges for better transfer performance and adhesion. Before transferring, you want to pre-iron your fabric to remove moisture and wrinkles. Now place the printed image face down on your garment. The red line side will be your ironing surface. Iron with steady and firm pressure. This will help to push the transfer layer deeper into the garment and will be better for wash durability. Glide the iron in a circular motion over the entire transfer for that suggested time duration, and be sure to cover the transfer completely. After ironing each section of the transfer, glide the iron once more over the transfer to heat evenly. Don't wait for it to cool. Best results occur when you peel immediately after ironing. Wait just three seconds and remove the backing paper from the transfer using a smooth, even motion. If any image lifting is observed while peeling, stop immediately and glide the iron back over the transfer to heat evenly while focusing on the areas where the image is lifting. And there you have it, your own customized new fun light transfer t-shirt. Have you ever walked into a shop full of expensive ceramic plates or cups with a nice looking design but cost way too much? Why would they cost more? Why would you spend more when you can buy blank ceramics and apply your own design at home? Customize and personalize your favorite design and give them to your loved ones for gifts. Today, I will be printing your personalized design on a decal and transfer it to a ceramic plate only using water. So let's find out. To apply a decal, you will need the following preps. Inkjet water slide decal paper, inkjet printer, a pair of scissors or craft knife, acrylic varnish, squidgy, hair dryer, and a bowl of water. Print the image on the glossy side of the paper. Normally, inkjet ink is water soluble, so apply a thin layer of varnish to protect the ink. Next, blow dry the printer with a hair dryer. Cut out the image with a pair of scissors. Then, immerse in warm water for half a minute. Once the film layer starts to slide, attach it on the plate and simply take out the backing paper underneath. Squidgy the excess moisture and air and you are done. More DIY videos are on the way, so please check them out. Until then, ciao! Hi there, today I would like to talk about generic ICC profiles. My name is Georg Ulrich and I'm the Responsible Application Technology Manager for SREPS the dye sublimation transfer paper brand by the Felix Schoeller Group, Germany. Customers have asked us why we do not offer ICC profiles on the S-Ray's website for our dye sublimation paper. The reason is quite simple. Due to the limitless number of variables within the whole production process, ICC profiles are created for one defined workflow or production environment. This means if we would create a new ICC profile, we choose one rep software and a printer with a defined print environment, including specific inks. 
looking to the transfer process, we work with either a flatbed heat press or a calendar with a specific transfer time, temperature and presser setting. Regarding sublimation blanks, we use one substrate with a specific white point and a surface texture. The chosen devices, their settings and the defined substrate are used to create a customized linearization, ink limitation and finally the ICC profile. All these components and their settings have an influence on the final output quality. By changing one component of the existing workflow, the ICC profile would not achieve the desired quality anymore. For example, by using other settings for printing or transferring, like resolution, number of passes, transfer time or temperature, by working with third-party inks, which is nowadays very common, or varying the substrates with different white points, surface textures and reaction times. So compared to the environment in which the profile was created, changes can lead to incorrect colors, color shifts, yellowing of the surface or even a faded output. Because we are not able to mimic every possible scenario, we have decided to not provide generic profiles. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.